All right, so uh, today is uh, Europe Universalis uh, 4 a nation tier list and I played this game for like uh, 2000 plus hours as well like the other installments like Hearts of Iron, uh, Victoria 2 and uh, uh, so on and uh, yeah gonna well, give my uh, best uh, opinion the music just uh, went real loud but they're gonna give my best opinion, like uh, considering which is the best nations to play as. I'm gonna take into consideration how uh, good they are in the beginning, uh, how well can they evolve, like uh, nation ideas and uh, geographic location and military capacity. <laughs> and yeah, let's uh, start with like a uh, first one on the list is actually Andalusia, and that's an actually a uh, formable nation uh, of a uh, Grenada that we have actually in here, which is actually like a really uh, hard uh, starting uh, position. Like you know, it's you're surrounded by uh, Spain, Aragon, and uh, Portugal. They all want your land, and uh, uh, chances of survival <coughs> is not very high. Uh, usually don't see uh, this nation to surviving in game uh, a lot or um, well any any time but if you do and you actually become Andalusia you actually like um, it's a quite a good spot like by that point you kind of be down Spain Aragon uh, you like start expanding into South uh, uh, I mean North Africa and uh, yeah you're gonna get uh, you have a lot of options for expansion and it's a really decent nation by then Alright, Manchuria. I think Manchuria, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's very strong. Uh, like, once you form it, you get the, like, uh, levies of horses. Your army is, like, crazy good. Like, uh, China gets the bad events. And once they get those bad events, it's real easy to start taking them down. So, like, you're kind of mad with this nation to, like, take down China. And you definitely get, like, the tools necessary to do it. It's a fun playthrough. Uh, you know, you relive the Genghis Khan and the, like, the historical Manchurian invasion, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, and, uh, Israel, um, yeah, let's just, just, uh, let's just put Israel in S and let's just continue. <laughs> uh, I believe this is Nassau and, um, all of the, like, small German miners gonna get, like, D and E. Uh, I mean, because they, uh, it's a hard, 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 uh, game for NPC, they usually don't survive to get eaten by something uh, I believe this is main as well, so um, yeah, they don't have great chances of survival, uh, they're not bad they can uh, form into German nations, but they're just in a, like a Holy Roman Empire there's way, way better nations to play as, so I'm gonna give them like the uh, even like a little bit tempted to give them E but uh, we're gonna see, like I'm gonna maybe even, yeah uh, Quara Kanlu, uh, it's a nice uh, country to the east from uh, Ottoman Empire. Uh, it's very strong in the beginning. It has like really, really amazing starting ideas, a lot of potential for expansion. But uh, the thing is, like, it's really hard. It's surrounded by Persia and Ottomans, so like, if you don't uh, destroy one of them in the beginning and uh, start eating them uh, fast, then uh, you're gonna get pancaked. <laughs> Especially later game, Russia gonna start knocking at your door, and uh, yeah, but um, overall, I think it's a great nation, and uh, gonna give it C. Gonna give it C, and maybe you're gonna uh, move it up later, seeing like how other nations, but uh, yeah, it just uh, you get pancaked, there's like two, you're uh, between two big nations. All right, Aragon. Uh, Aragon is an A nation. Uh, it's like for now, right now, it's even better playing uh, Aragon than playing uh, Spain because uh, if you leave uh, Aragon for NPC, they uh, like just throw away like Naples like as a vassal to just uh, disallow it. So it's like um, it's crap. Like uh, so, like uh, if you just pick Aragon and don't do that, actually, then it's way better. Then with this way you can get the marriage, like Andalusian marriage with uh, Spain, and uh, then you still have the part of Italy under you. So uh, Aragon is a little bit better than like Castile right now. So definitely a maybe even S, like maybe even S, like a lot of potentially a good nation. 
<laughs> well, as Chicago, I'm gonna give it another like S tier. Uh, you are start as the daimyo leader, and uh, you know you can uh, you know you, you you eat few nations, and then you're just on your roll to become Japan uh, really fast. And uh, like I'm counting it as a Japan, and Japan is just uh, a good start. Uh, you are in a very fun position. You know you have like really strong neighbors as a China. You have a lot of colonial expansion. You have uh, really a good geography. You're an island nation. So there's a lot of potential actually there. <laughs> and yeah, and the next one is Aus Austria and Austria Habsburg family. I mean, yeah, this is the Holy Roman Emperor, you know, it's always gonna be. Uh, but um, yeah, my problem uh, with Austria is just, uh, it just uh, is surrounded by many nations like, uh, like, like you have like Poland to the east, French to the west. You have like uh, some fucking uh, Ottomans to the south, you have uh, to the north, like maybe da Danish, like right now being uh, way more um, OP and strong. Uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Corn Buff uh, Buffalo. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, welcome, welcome. But yeah, Australia could be an S tier like easily, but I think it's just surrounded by so many enemies and like if there is some and later on there always is conflict in a uh, Roman Empire. But uh, usually it's like really easy and you can like steamroll uh, your your place, you know, like secure it always. So like it's another like S tier, A tier, like uh, I really like. Yeah, it's it's one of those nations that meant to like consume everybody around them. Uh, Aztecs, oh, it's a it's a difficult start. It's a it's a great nation. It's a great geography, but uh, yeah, Europeans start knocking at your door. Uh, <laughs> like e everybody, just uh, you know, you have your religion that always like brings up doom and uh, like inflation. It's just a hard start. It just um, like really comes down to the just being a hard start. Um, I even like uh, even put like even yeah lower because like playing these little nations in here is way easier like even like F like because it's really hard it's like real um, like <laughs> Navarra um, is a little bit uh, easier Grenada is a little bit even easier I would say wait this is Navarra this is not Grenada I'm not like looking at it I'm like no Navarra actually like is as bad as <laughs> you're not like you're gonna just get consumed by somebody so you know they have a lot of chances i'm gonna give aztecs e because uh you you might still have potential if like i don't know like somehow get like institutions from europeans and then don't kill you instantly so it, it has options it has options and yeah and uh next one is bahmanis uh, it's an indian nation uh it's like uh, right in the center. Um, it's it's decent, but uh, it's the 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 draw part. It's like you are in the middle of India, so from every uh, angle, you can be attacked, and uh, unless you have ally, of course, at that angle, you know, like hug boxing and stuff. But um, like it's it's not a bad nation. It's a really decent nation, good ideas. But um, it has Vijayanagar. I think it's still a, a favorite. It has the uh, the Indian uh, religion and uh, is better geographically located since uh, it only has enemies to the north. But let's talk it about later. Like Bengal, I think Bengal is a little bit uh, in a better position than Bahmanis because. Uh, to the north of uh, ba Bengal, like there's only mountains, and to the east as well, like to the south, there's uh, just uh, water. So like, you get uh, only enemies, real enemies, uh, like dangerous enemies are to the west, and uh, you know, but you have like good positioning, even though it's like kind of flatlands all of your nation. But I think it's still positioning is a little bit better than my man as you have like a uh, good trade now that you can like dominate like really early on. So uh, definitely like I uh, uh, think in my eyes a uh, better nation than uh, Bahmanis. All right, and the next one is Bohemia, and uh, 
And Bohemia is a nice nation, like uh, in the Holy Roman Empire, uh, is an elector. But uh, the the drawbacks that uh, kind of make like Bohemia uh, not the best, not the S tier, is because uh, the culture group uh, you kind of forced into like expanding into Polish culture group, and you cannot. No, you can, you're not. German culture groups are not accepted. You have to accept them. So it's like a, a small drawback, uh, but it's still a, a really strong nation. You have a gold mine uh, in start of the game, so you can like develop it and make really good bugs and become a Holy Roman Emperor like really easy. And yeah, and then expand into Poland and uh, yeah, yeah, it's an option. But yeah, Brandenburg, uh, in my eyes, is an S tier. You get the uh, Prussian uh, stormtrooper ideas. It's uh, well, uh, I think like arguably the best army in the game, uh, one of the best. And you are elector in the Holy Roman Empire, so you can become the uh, Holy Rompa, uh, Roman Empire quite easily. I've done it many times uh, as a Ber uh, Brandenburg. So it's a really, really a strong nation. Uh, you, you are kind of safe uh, you know your biggest enemy gonna be Denmark and maybe like Lithuania you always have the protection of the Holy Roman Empire <laughs> so that's uh, that's that's nice you know and you have the German group so you just uh, can eat your neighbors quite easily but the, uh, the aggressive expansion and then you become Prussia and uh, once you're Prussia you uh, yeah danger Prussia is danger <laughs> all right uh, the next one is Brittany uh, which is uh, kind of bad, bad. Like I mean, it's a kind of like just a pure snack for friends. Like its only purpose is to there is to like be snagged by friends, or like if France does not get it, like maybe England and then like French and England do it out for like this land. But yeah, this it's not. You don't have no holy Roman protection. You got nothing like your only ally is Burgundy, and Burgundy is not in a good place. Uh, like Burgundy has an amazing ideas like uh, geographically it's in a really tight spot it's like between French and uh, uh, Holy Roman Empire and uh, as well like England and they all like really want to eat it so and uh, there's many events just that um, just break the country instantly like if you make your leader like your leader like an army uh, your king an army leader then it's like, um, yeah, your uh, your king dies and all of your nation is lost to the uh, uh, outside forces, well, like Spain. That uh, it did happen in, uh, historically because of succession. So uh, yeah, just because of that, it's a day like uh, it could be a little bit uh, higher up, but uh, you know, you usually don't see Burgundy surviving for that long. Uh, uh, in multiplayer games, you know, usually Burgundy players can have some bad time, you know, if their alliance uh, are not that good. So, I'm gonna give it D. I'm gonna give it D. <laughs> Alright, Byzantium just for memes, I'm gonna give it B. <laughs> uh, because Byzantium is a fucking an amazing na nation. Uh, Deus Vault, you know, it's a hard start. But, uh, you know, like, definitely, like, winning it makes you feel like a Basilius, you know like um it's a fun start it's a uh, good ideas very difficult in the beginning but you know if you could somehow defeat the ottomans like in the first war you, you have like good chances later on yeah <laughs> yeah so um but yeah it could go lower it could go lower but like it's like same like with britain it could be like the same because it's kind of meant to be eaten by a bigger nation uh, close by but yeah, I usually don't see them, but uh, Byzantium, you know, just for memes and just because Byzantium, you know, it's like, is a underappreciated place. Alright, next up, France, France, uh, Elan, <laughs> uh, 20 morale, speed, uh, morale, just 20% morale, uh, boost, like, amazing everything, just uh, amazing land, uh, yeah, you know, you get, uh, you know, you get your little bit enemy to the north, you know, you do a little bit fighting with him, like, get your land back. You know, to the south, you have amazing mountains for perfect defense, and, like, your biggest threat, I think, is uh, usually the Roman Empire, and, uh, which can you beat back quite easily, so, like, um, French is definitely, like, S-tier. 
All right. <laughs> uh, I believe this is uh, Genoa or, or Savoy, which uh, both are uh, RK nations. Like, uh, you know, like uh, usually get eaten uh, quite early on, so or even later on once. Uh, you know, they are not necessary for whatever power was allied to them, so, uh, yeah, uh, not good start. Uh, Muscovy, uh, yeah, Muscovy is a uh, quite easy start, you'll be back, uh, like, you just destroy uh, Novograd, and then after it you have to, like, if you destroy, like, Commonwealth, uh, it's an easy ride for you, you got all of your neighbors are um, technologically and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, inferior and you just uh, steamroll and just uh, reach the other end of the map, Yakutsk, you know, Japan and uh, so on, so Moscovy is a easy start, uh, has some good ideas and um, great geography, it's a st solid nation, solid nation. Alright, uh, Hungary uh, has a lot of potential, potential. Uh, is not a bad nation, like definitely a big and strong one uh, with some really really uh, strong ideas, uh, but all the time it just gets under the union of Australia and then it becomes into like one nation, it's like, um, well yeah, it's historically, I mean, still a good nation, you know. Uh, it used to be I always would see the getting eaten by Ottomans, but you know now it they like are a border border wall, uh, and this is a quite good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, next one is a uh, Knight Order, uh, Teutonic Knights, and uh, I mean uh, it's a it's a hard start. Your your neighbors are probably gonna consume you. Uh, but you do have like some great 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 uh, fucking uh, ideas and some potential even if you like join Holy Roman Empire and just because of that I'm gonna give it like C tier like even like B tier it has potential it's really fun to play you have like really defendable lands but your enemies are just uh, re really strong and you're surrounded so I'm gonna give them B all right, I believe this is Malta, or uh, if not, then it's the Knights, Knight Order, uh, and in both situations, like, uh, you're kind of in E position, you're a one, one uh, province minor, and uh, you don't really, don't really have a lot of chances, so, yeah, yeah, you gotta just uh, get eaten. All right, and the uh, next one is Orat. And Orats are decent, uh, it's not an easy, you're like, you're gonna get bullied by China. But, uh, and if the, if Manchuria does not rise, uh, you know, you can even like, like, eat Manchuria, like, in the beginning and kind of then be like, safe. But it does not have any, like, that much special ideas. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but... Uh, it's not, it's not it's not the best it's not the best Manchuria definitely has like better ideas and better uh, kind of evolution tree but uh, even though like the Orats can evolve into like a really amazing nation which I, I have to give again be it Orats I mean I mean they, they are their enemies surroundings are not that hard you can really beat everybody like unlike like Quara can win, Batman is win, it's, uh, you know, you're gonna have like tough battles, like Orets, yeah, you have like Chinese, but you become tributary for a while and uh, just wait for uh, to grow and like get uh, Chinese some disasters. Uh, Tlemenka, Tlemenka, yeah, it's, it's, I rarely see this nation rise up in uh, Northern Africa. It's usually like either Morocco or uh, Tunisia who are uh, get the edge, or they get all eaten. So at Lemenka, uh, yeah, yeah, just gets eaten all the time. I'm gonna give it an mm, F, like not special that much, I guess. Uh, to all the Chinese miners, even the, yo, yo, they have like sometimes good ideas. I'm gonna give them all F because uh, their purpose is to be eaten. 
and I don't know this nation uh, and I'm gonna give it F as well because uh, it's probably some uh, a minor and uh, yeah it's it's not gonna have a lot of uh, luck I believe uh, and yeah Bobby uh, welcome welcome uh, yeah we're doing the uh, tier list and uh, I think we like a little bit uh, maybe one third way down uh, it's time for Albania and Albania is not in a good place it's again it's like uh, just has a destiny of getting consumed uh, its neighbors are way too hard to deal with and uh, ideas are not that that special and that's why it's E. Uh, CM this is I believe CM and uh, actually CM is in a decent spot geographically it has an uh, amazing spot like you have uh, good mountains good jungles and uh, as well as uh, oceans and rivers to protect your nation uh, some good choke points to like uh, you know defend uh, from invasions so um, and yeah and some good uh, possibilities for expansion so uh, I'm gonna give it A and if it's not CM then uh, CM gets A uh, but Bhutan, uh, Bhutan is one of minor uh, nations, you know, for a dragon alone I want to give it C, <laughs> because that's one of my favorite flags, you know, like, uh, the nation does not have a really easy time, you know, uh, it's like a small minor, but uh, the, the flag alone with a dragon uh, gets C. Alright, and uh, Scotland, yeah, Scotland, I rarely see, like, surviving, like, for a very long time, like, um, goes down quite easy, England does not uh, take lightly of them, just, um, just they see them and they just pounce on them, and, um, yeah, you know, it's destined to die like these nations. Sometimes, you know, French alliance kind of works out and um, like, I mean, multiplayer games are, are made it uh, survivable, but it's still a task, it's uh, not an easy task to do, so, yeah, 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 like, you just, um, it's, you don't got <laughs> good luck winning against England, if you're NPC, uh, not very likely gonna do. That and next one is Cologne, and Cologne is another just a uh, HRE member, so uh, you have as good chances as any. Uh, this flag looks really weird, it looks like Jerusalem flag plus others. Uh, but yeah, all right, Crimea. Uh, Crimea actually has like a really nice geography and a really decent country for. Uh, a tribal horde uh, in that region and uh, you know you get vassalized by Ottomans you know you're kind of destined to be like but you can become a march and uh, sometimes even becoming vassal of Ottoman just makes you protected so uh, there's like you know there's both sides there's both sides to the story like Crimea uh, is a decent one it's really like it usually does not never like rarely dies instantly from Lithuania usually like just gets allied or vassalized so you sometimes see it even in the later game uh, performing not bad if it's not annexed all right uh, this flag looks like Jerusalem flag with a lot of like different uh, holy roman flags so I'm gonna just uh, leave it there Right, Dai Viet or Vietnam, the current Vietnam. Uh, really amazing geography. Uh, I mean, you're kind of safe. Uh, you have some uh, colonial expansion options, some military expansion options. It's a not a bad start. Uh, you know, you have some like heavy hitters like CM there uh, sitting there, uh, but you can make it work, and uh, you have some instant uh, places for expansion early on. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna give uh, Davia definitely B tier. Uh, this March, Dich, Dich Martian, uh, yeah, just just the um, just um, Free Republic, uh, Meme Lord Republic, uh, but 
if it's not HRE it just gets eaten instantly and uh, it's not good it's not good at all <sighs> all right this is the Ethiopia this should be like uh, something with Ethiopia uh, related I'm 100% sure with uh, but yeah uh, it's 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 good, like like I don't know like, uh, it's it's a safe start, you know. You you kill all your neighbors, you eat them, you know. You like evolve into bigger nation, and you're in like empire. I don't think this is Ethiopia actually. Like I think it's like similar nation, but it's definitely not Ethiopia. Mm, but uh, talking about Ethiopia still like uh, really really safe start uh, good mountains good uh, expansion base like you know we can see here is Kilwa uh, which is um, yeah uh, well it has some potential but you get usually neighbors that uh, just start coming to you and bite you so uh, it's, it's not the best start it's not the best start at all Okay, this is the Golden Horde or the Great Horde. I think this is the Evolved State. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not nice for them. It's not nice at all for them. It's, uh, it's kind of hellish. They are surrounded by enemies all the time. So, uh, like from all sides. Uh, yeah, you usually don't see them for a long time, you know, you get annexed by uh, SD uh, Moscovites or by other nations. So, so yeah, uh, okay, this is definitely not Malacca and uh, this is another uh, miner in uh, Germany, so let's just keep it there. Uh, this is another Japanese miner. Just let's bring this uh, small miners to here, as well as some uh, small uh, in like oceanic nations. Uh, this is uh, another African nation. Uh, this is not so high. This might be so high. And once the flags go like this out there, uh, I do have problem. I'm not the master of all the flags. There's no names here. I've been doing quite well in my opinion so far, but uh, I'm destined to make uh, some mistakes in this one. Uh, just uh, too many flags, too many flags. But uh, this is African nation, and uh, yeah, they usually like uh, don't do badly. Like you know, you kill your neighbors, and uh, you know, then you just hope you're gonna win against European nations, and usually never works out that well in the end. You know. Usually, like even having uh, like three times the amount of troops uh, are lost uh, to French, to Portuguese, like that. So um, yeah, it's never easy, never easy. Uh, I'm gonna just put this one in F because oh, wait, wait, this is Gujarat. I think this is Gujarat, and uh, Gujarat is an okay, is an okay style. It's like a little bit, and it's like. A same level with Bahmanis, but they start out weaker, so I'm gonna give them D. And uh, another small nation in uh, HRE. Uh, I mean, maybe should start giving uh, small nations in HRE, maybe like F status as well, because I mean, it's, you don't really usually want to play them, and they're not really that, that impressive either, so just wait there so I'm gonna actually bring them I know we might not like it but uh, I don't uh, wanna put like you know like this small one province miners to actual nations that uh, could be playable like and more should be uh, appreciated more in my opinion but uh, you can differ and it's alright yeah, just checking. I mean, dish machine. Uh, well, for dish machine, for a meme power, I'm gonna keep you here, but just because of meme. <laughs> and yeah, it's better to be like maybe a free, like African nation, than be like just a slave, a state in a Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah, I stand by my point. And all right, uh, another uh, Indonesian, uh, like South <laughs> Indo Chinese a nation. Maybe this one is Siam. 
but anyway it's uh, closer to them and uh, all the other nations to Siam are a little bit smaller uh, making them a little bit uh, easier to deal with and uh, yeah there's a lot of enemies so all right now it's uh, Lithuania and uh, yeah I actually from uh, this uh, country so uh, I'm gonna be biased here and just give it S tier because uh, uh, it's an amazing country <laughs> It's uh, we, we, we unite with Poland and become a commonwealth. Uh, if you fuck up uh, Muscovy early on, like I did a lot of my single player games, I just ally Novograd and just uh, bu bully Muscovy, and then you just uh, then it's easy it becomes you know then your biggest enemy is Ottomans and Australians, and you can really pick and choose when to fight them. Like so, it's not that bad. <laughs> really not that bad geographically. Your nation is kind of shit, like, you kind of uh, are in a flatland, uh, only like uh, Lithuanian cultural provinces are in marshes, so that a little bit is defended, but uh, most of it is like different religion, culture, and uh, yeah, it has a bad uh, defensive positions with uh, grasslands, so it's not, it's not, it's not uh, the best nation defensively wise but I, I am biased here there's a lot of expansion you know your expansion is not that easy just uh, just after taking down uh, Muscovy and uh, I allied many times Byzantium in the beginning and had a very uh, bloody war with Ottomans so just uh, uh, to have Byzantium and uh, after first war always Byzantium would grow and uh, you know, prosper. So my biased opinion: Lithuania is a steer, and there is nothing else to talk about. It. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, next one: uh, Livonian Order is worse than Teutonic Order. Uh, you're between like uh, Russia and uh, Lithuania. So uh, yeah, and as well like Denmark uh, always has claims on you. So um, it's, they usually don't survive for that long. Uh, this is Malacca, I believe, and uh, actually like a good uh, geographical position and uh, definitely some potential for growth. So I'm gonna give it uh, at least D tier, at least D tier, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, I don't know this one, so I'm gonna give it F. You know, if I don't know it, it means that it was so bad, I did not even care to play it. Alright, uh, just like with this one, this one is Mali, and uh, Mali can be a lot of fun, it's one of the best starts uh, in the Horn of Africa, and uh, yeah, you can uh, fucking get the rolling with those big boy uh, money shots that you get, you know, like, you get like 3-4 gold mines, and you can get more, you develop them up, and you start just shitting money, and uh, it can be fun, and it can definitely, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good niche. It's a good start, uh, but still, of course, as any African nation, it has its uh, downfalls uh, later on. All right, and uh, this looks like Austria again, like, and uh, I'm not gonna judge again Austria because we kind of already judge Austria, so we just put it down there somewhere and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Morocco actually a uh, decent, decent uh, nation, uh, very good positioning, uh, great uh, defensive uh, geography and uh, uh, yeah, great ideas and uh, gold mine as well, so um, yeah, I like it, I played with it, uh, some good uh, you know, the beginning can be star uh, hard since you have to fight Portugal and Castile, but uh, if you can defeat them, you know, um, you can definitely like tribe and start colonizing and uh, growing into Africa and uh, become very strong. So I'm gonna give it a, a B tier, not A tiers because yeah, um, uh, it has downsides, it's not an easy start, it's like kind of usually does not survive or gets a little bit chopped down. Alright, Norway. Uh, Norway has some great ideas, but uh, I, n I never see Norway being successful, and uh, I'm probably never, uh, you know, either it's eaten by Sweden or Denmark, so it's uh, just another of those things that are meant to fail. And uh, yeah, uh, next one is Novograd. Talking about things that meant to be fail, <laughs> meant to fail, um, yeah. 
usually does not go uh, very well uh, for them just instantly gets eaten uh, by muscovites and yeah it's all right uh, let's go on the next one Janpur I think this might be Janpur from India I'm not sure it's not if it's Janpur from India I've seen it thrive I've seen it actually like become a major power in there so I'm gonna give it a D I'm gonna give it D it has it has chance uh, a flower nation you, you are too friendly to uh, be considered uh, this looks like French French colonies French vassals I'm just gonna give them a nom nom status uh, this one Ragusa and yeah Ragusa does not survive <laughs> for very long <laughs> Well, like <laughs> no they 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 definitely do not uh, Ryu uh for memes I'm gonna give Ryu Kyu a tier well, because you know you, you are meant to conquer the world you know that's your destiny so uh, you know you cannot be a, like anything lower than a if you're meant to conquer the world uh, okay the third <laughs> fart <laughs> Uh, kind of looks like a Savoy flag, but this V E R T is kind of confusing me, so I'm gonna give it another F because it's fart. All right, next one, <laughs> next one, and Castile, Castile, go uh, gonna be A <coughs> because Aragon is S and Aragon is better than Castile. And if you don't agree, uh, 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 fight me, <laughs> uh, write me an angry letter, and uh, I will not respond. All right, uh, next one is Delhi, and um, I mean Delhi is on the same level to me, kind of like Janpur. I mean uh, Delhi is usually a target of uh, team reds, and uh, uh, they rarely survive. Rarely survive, like rarely survive. You know, flatlands. You can, geography is kind of like against you because the team reds are in the defensive mountains, and you're kind of left in the flatlands to defend so it's not an easy battle uh, Denmark uh, Denmark were those uh, nations that really start easy and uh, you know if you just play your cards right you're just gonna continue being uh, strong and now uh, that they buffed the actual ideas uh, it's, it's it's definitely like a steer like I mean yeah yeah nothing about it. it's just easy geography like easy games no, just just you can just pick who you want to fight. Uh, NPC usually does not perform that well, but I mean England, <laughs> England. There's no question about it. England is just an S tier, absolute beast, uh, absolute like uh, you know. Yeah, you cannot you cannot fuck with them. You have to fuck them up early in game, or they're just gonna continue growing, uniting, and yeah, once they unite, that's that's when the problem start. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is a belief Provence, and Provence is uh, alright, it's alright, it's not gonna survive for long, so that's why it's E, uh, yeah, 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 that's it, and this is like Hisimishi, Misihishi something something, and uh, even though it has a really nice flag, it just, yeah, it just does not hold up at all Korea one of those uh, fa uh, safe starts so uh, it's just a farming st <laughs> far uh, farming like nation you like really don't do nothing like uh, you know you like kind of uh, well wanna prepare like well as a player you kind of wanna prepare for that invasion of China you know like invade them before they invade you and um, I mean, it's not a bad nation. China will never attack you. Usually, like they're your, your best buddy, you have like their protection. So it's it's. I mean, it's a safe nation. It's really safe nation. It's not a very fun nation. But it's really safe nation. Like you've played well. Uh, NPC sometimes fucks up though. So like, like I'm gonna give it C because NPC fucks up many times. But sometimes it takes over Manchuria, and then fucks up. Alright, let's give, just give, let's give him C because it's like they're farmers and let's just keep it at that. Uh, this looks like Pasai. 
or Nuremberg or Maglianburg because I don't know which one it is I just got the or, or the current poem but I'm just gonna give it a F tier because <laughs> it's foofy all right uh mom looks uh actually is like now i've seen like some games i see uh, ottomans being beaten like by mom looks. so i'm like uh i mean it's not bad i mean if they're beating the mom looks, it means they're doing something right i mean if they're beating the ottoman so they're doing something right so i'm gonna give them a it's actually uh really uh, a really good start. Let's let's continue our Europe Universalist music. Um, but yeah, they have uh, you know they have desert to their west. They have like well, they have desert to the all sides and then the a sea of uh, water. <laughs> you know, it's uh, you know your biggest enemy is Ottomans and like if you do well in that first war and. Uh, you know, don't let them grow like you kind of stacked and you're gonna just dominate the region. So, uh, I'm, I'm even wanna put them in S tier. Like, I really do, but uh, something keeps me wanting to keep them at A because Ottomans, Ottomans do often kill them in the end. Uh, Milan. Uh, Milan is a nice independent nation. It has potential. Uh, seen it uh, survive very long in the game. Uh, sometimes thrive and uh, you know like do very well in the Genoa region. So Genoa, I'm gonna keep it at E. Uh, Ming, I mean Ming. Uh, I mean you start with the strongest nation, like uh, arguably the biggest and strongest nation in the game, and like. You know, only if you like really fuck up, like you can lose it. <laughs> so, uh, if as long as you don't fuck up, like it's, it's really easy game. So, S tier, mainly just S tier. Uh, unlike Moldova, unlike Moldova, which is uh, yeah, it just. Um, I mean, you start as an independent nation and then you just instantly get vassalized, like. Yes, yeah, just, just let's just let's just keep you at F tier Moldova. Let's keep you at F tier. Uh, Mongolia uh, starts as a vassal of Oirat, uh, but because I, I am a great Khan, I have the achievement in my uh, Steam. I'm gonna give them still a C level. Uh, it's not a bad start. It's not a good start. It's actually a really shit start. <laughs> you're a vessel and you're surrounded, uh, but you need to like break the uh, break away and then like take over and like order it. Uh, but because I'm a great Khan, I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, oh, this is Moscow, <laughs> and this is Moscow, and this is actually Georgia. Uh, all right, Georgia. Okay, Georgia. Uh, Georgia does not perform <laughs> well at all anytime. Like that region is just really poor and underdeveloped and really good defensively, but Caucasus is just uh, just does not do it. All right, that now is clear. Uh, Naples, Naples. Oh my God, Naples. Um, used to be like I think worst nation in the game. Like just horrible ideas. And uh, you just, uh, yeah, instantly start as a vassal, and uh, I mean, yeah, I think they maybe changed him, but uh, I don't even want to play him, so I'm just gonna give it F. <laughs> Otto, Otto, Ottomans, uh, that's that's the uh, best start in the game. You uh, have the discipline, you have the money, you have the Byzantine. You get everything. You get like six, six, six rulers. You get, you get, yeah, you get big monies. You are geographically located very well. Uh, fucking Crimea is your vassal because they like you so much. Uh, there's many things going for them. It's an S tier, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, uh, Poland. Uh, I mean, some would argue Poland is better than Lithuania. And uh, idea-wise, maybe, but they become one in one nation. So, like, I'm just gonna put them on in the same tier uh, because I'm biased and uh, uh, write me an angry letter. 
and yeah, uh, next one is Portugal. Uh, Portugal, I don't know, man. It's it's like Korea. It's like these farmers never get attacked by anybody. Just sit there, just uh, you know. But except like Korea, uh, which does not do anything like Portugal actually colonizes, and um, is a very 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 strong start. And uh, where's my music? Okay, good, my music back. Okay, I think this is a Provence again. Or did we have like something uh, different than Provence in there? Well, anyway, they are still F tier, and that's it. Okay, and this one is Quarakanlu, or uh, I remembered the uh, rated one early on. Yeah, this one, Aquanlu and Quarakanlu. I'm gonna put them in the same tier. They both have a uh, I think the blue one does have better chances, uh, but I'm just gonna put it there. There, that's it. That's it. Let's move on. Uh, Saxony, uh, well, at least it's an elector, so I'm gonna give it at least E tier. But uh, yeah, Holy Roman Empire tier, uh, nations are meh. Okay, Scotland. Yeah, poor Scotland is made to be killed, and again, I rated a Scotland, I think I did thought this was Scotland, which is, I mean, fair, fair, you know, I, I look at this fucking tiger, it's a red tiger looking at one side, and I did my best, I'm done, like, <laughs> I did my best. Alright, Sweden, uh, actually, amazing, amazing military ideas, uh... It's a little bit worse than Denmark because you have to break away from being a vassal and then try to vassalize them and so on. So um, only because of that it's A tier and uh, otherwise it's kind of safe and you have like such a strong military you can really uh, whoop ass and especially with the new DLC that buffed uh, that region really well. Uh, Pope, uh, Pope uh, is Pope, you know, like in early game. Uh, like papal state uh, dictates kind of dictates you know like you know if somebody pisses you know you don't want to like have him in a pissy mood so like always everybody tries to be friends with them so that's like a bonus when you're playing you know everybody wants to be your friend so <laughs> there's nothing bad about it all right and uh timorates uh i mean timorates is you're just fucking giant block and you can become into moguls which arguably one of the best nations in the game like because of that uh, assimilation and yeah yeah that that's it you know you're, you're a patient geography so um yeah and again, I see some some actual flags are repeating, so uh, I might good to know, but I uh, need to like be vigilant a little bit. All right, Trans Saxonia, uh, it's like a Holy Roman nation. Uh, you are meant to be eaten by uh, Timurids. Usually, the first after the first vessel, the uh, Timurids next. It usually gets way easier. Uh, as a nation, it's not that bad actually, like some good ideas, but uh, yeah, it's meant to be eaten. Uh, Venice is one of those small rebel guys and uh, one of those underdogs who are just, uh, you know, just beneath the giant, the Holy Roman Empire. And uh, they just keep fighting and trading and doing their best, so that's why I'm gonna give them A. It's a really cool nation, uh, you can really make it work and make big bucks. Uh, real big bucks. <laughs> Okay, Vijayanagar, uh, I think is the best Indian nation to start with, uh, you are really well defended, uh, you have like good geography, good uh, good values, good ideas, uh, culture group, uh, religious group, uh, everything is in your pocket. <coughs> and yeah, it's one of the best arts in India, in my opinion, so that's why I'm putting it in S tier. Uh, Wallachia, uh, yeah, Wallachia, uh, Wallachia does not live for long. So, F tier. Uh, Sonhai, uh, Sonhai has great, great military ideas. Uh, it's like a pressure of uh, Africa, so uh, I'm gonna give it B. 
just for that because it does have like some really good ideas and you can really fuck up everybody because of that uh, small uh well, no small like a decent bonus uh switzerland let's just give switzerland c uh you know you're as a holy roman uh, nation you're neutral and uh, everybody like you and that's that's it from that uh that's another small minor let's just keep it here uh tunisia another uh, b nation i really like playing with it uh, it's like positioned really well it has really good uh, defensive positions like mostly it's like desert and then you have like um, just a big uh, empty lands so it's uh, fun, fun to defend and you can uh, raid and do other things like yeah i like it i like it I really uh usually it's not very strong but every time i play it i'm having a lot of fun uh another uh, german miner so let's just keep another german miner here and i already see some uh, uh some flags that are like starting again i'm just uh quickly gonna run them over and uh, see if uh, we skipped if there's any nation that i think we did not talk about and i think maybe this one but uh, it's like kind of small miner so it's uh whatever Yep, uh, yep, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them, yep. Well, a uh, quick uh, last overview of like, you know, what I thought, like, you know, what I think, like the S tier, uh, like, you know, uh, nations are kind of meant to win, you know, uh, are positioned well geographically, has good events. Uh, and uh, has good stars for you in the beginning so like this is the ones that thing are one of the best a tier like uh you're you're not the top dog but you really uh can become one like if you play good like except <laughs> ryukyu i mean you got to be like real good to like i mean this meme like, like it's me 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 boys but uh th this one is uh kind of hard to get but every every destination uh, you can perform well uh, and you can take down the top dogs and i uh, become the top dog like b uh, as well like a little bit harder you're kind of on the back side except like some of the asian nations uh you know i'm, I'm putting them lower uh you know because yeah they're just weaker you know like european get like their pips their uh, their op ideas and uh, bonuses and speed and institutions so uh yeah that's why this a little bit nations are a little bit on the lower side but they still are very viable you know you can still have a lot of fun with them uh i, I know why i have albania here but i mean yeah it is like when it starts like getting like i mean saxon yeah, it's not hard like really not hard but i mean this this nations uh yeah you really have to pull 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 like hard to like uh get something done and a lot of these nations are just holy roman miners which is not hard but uh you know this, these nations are kind of destined to be eaten uh really hard starts not not all of them but you know not not fast growth stra uh, starts you know you, you might start and you have to grow slowly or like beat back like really strong opponents like a Scotland or Wallachia so this one are just um, yeah just strong from way go and Israel formable nation you know uh, it's here because we, you know because we love Jews that's it and yeah have a have a have a great day